I hope you are doing well on today's video I am going to show you how to PLC share data like one is a master and uh, the other is a slave okay as you see on the diagram so we can use the instructional system function uh, 40 and 50 for receiving and sending or you can directly use the input address or the output address to send and receive so as you see on this one this is a copy from the hardware configuration the master configuration looks like this one and uh, the slave is inserted here so let's do this on our semantic manager okay so let's create project uh plc master to the plc slave uh, communication so let's insert our plc's let's say plc slave this one or is slave and uh, let's also insert the master plc This is a PLC master. Okay. So let's do the hardware configuration now. So let's insert the rack. And now let's insert the CPU. My CPU is 317 2DP this one okay let's cancel sorry sorry so let's use this one uh, let's create the profit bus profit bus one okay and let you know, we have to select here as a slave and done so let's save this one and let's configure for the plc the master plc sorry i think i have to plug this one So let's insert the rack and now let's insert the CPU, the second CPU. My CPU is 217 to 2 pn DP. This one. Sorry, sorry, 17. This one. Cancel. Okay. Let's create this one. Okay. Now we can put the second PLC as a slave here. So configure station is this one. 300 so I can use this one okay it brings the second PLC so I can say couple here and we can also configure here the our input in the output address here so let's say new okay, address we can use 256 256 so this one is input and this is output and the length will be 20. I'm going to send 20 bytes from PLC one. So, and so this is for sending and for receiving. Let's create again. I have to make it input this one. So automatically this will be output. 
so we can make address also, also again for the input 256 for this one 256 so we can send 32 bytes great okay great now save and compile and for the slave we have to also say save in the compile but let me show you one thing before going to that so it's taking time for so the address is here at the slave the operation mode and the configuration is automatically loaded from the master so that's great so let's save in the compile So I want to send. I want to create two DPs for each PLC. For one DB for sending, one DB for receiving. So let me create that first to save time. Let me create two DBs, and uh, reveal back. So I created two DBs for master PLC. 101 and 100 and 101 and for the slave PLC I created two dbs 200 and the 201 so one db for example we can say db 100 for sending data and the db 101 for receiving for the same for db uh, slave to slave db 200 for sending and the db 201 for receiving so let's say see the parameter this db100 is already parameterized so it's this later this data will be sent to the plc slave and db101 is has five integer five real and uh, 16 bulls so again it's not par parameter parameterized so the data will be received from slave plc this is also the same db 200 is parameterized parameterized and db 200 is not parameterized okay Yes, so I want to show you this one. So let's do the program now. Okay. Let's create. So I want to send, send data to the PLC slave. So we can use system function 50 here. The address is 256 as we configure on the hardware configuration. So in hex size is 100. Okay, so I want to send DB100 starting from zero, from zero bytes 20. Uh, memory word to, for the error code let's do for receiving again receive data from plc slave so for receiving system function for t the address is again the same 256 in hexa 100 okay the memory the error code will be saved on memo word 4 and my data will be saved on db2 db101 dot db sorry dbx00 start 
same device okay sorry sorry this one is going to be 32 bytes I have to receive 32 bytes from the slave great I'm done for the PLC one let's do for the slave pills sorry so receive data from PLC master from the master pills so we use system function for T address is the same 100 in my world we can use this one and I am going to receive on db201 dot dbx starting from 00, zero bytes 20 and for sending send data to PLC master for this you can again use the system function tt and the address is the same 100 and I am going to send my tb200 dot tbx starting from 00, zero bytes such two okay the error code will be on memory word for so this all these are 100 the address is 100 it's it means in decimal 256 so let me show you one is for the address not to confuse this one 256 256 for or for this uh, output 256 for this input 256 and for this one is input so to 256 and this is output 256 so the address comes from this one so I have done the programming so let's uh, before downloading let me add uh, one OB Obi 82. The PLCs are not loading at the same time, so if they show some diagnostic faults, so let me add this one. Okay, great. Uh, before downloading the program, let me connect the profi bus to the PLCs for both PLCs. Both must be connected okay now i'm going to connect the profi bus to the plc and uh, i connected my MEPA cable to the profi bus again now we can download okay you can also continue by this one great so let's download the slave again so let's confirm by this one sorry sorry not accepting let me download again okay I don't know why 
ele signal. Okay, it says open. Sorry, I have to close this one. Yes, sorry, that's my mistake. Now it's accepting. Great. Okay, great. So let's monitor now. Let's see on our slave. Is that accepting or not? Let's monitor. Okay, not I'm not getting the data again. Sorry. It was a stop put. So now I, I'm accepting. I'm receiving from the master. Okay, great. Let's again see DB101. Do I do I receiving from slave or not? So let's monitor again this one. So uh, yeah, I'm accept I'm receiving from the PLC slave, so that's good. Uh so it's great, I'm done, well done. Thank you. I've done on today's video, so have a nice time until the next video.